Vice Presidential Candidate of the People's Democratic Party, PDP, Ifanyo Kola, has said the party is working assiduously to re reconcile uh, with the five aggrieved PDP governors known as G5. Okola stated this in a meeting with some other South-South PDP governors, including Udo Emanuel of Akwaibom, Godwin Obaseki of Edo, Duoyediri of Bayelsa, and uh, this was at the government house in Yenigua in Bayelsa State Capital. Meanwhile, the spokesperson of the Atikwa Koa Presidential Campaign Council, uh, Daniel Boila, has said River State Governor Yeson Wiki's non-support of the People's Democratic Party in the 2023 presidential elections would not affect the party's chances at the polls. Also on the party's governorship race in Lagos, there are internal wranglings as members are demanding for the expulsion of the former deputy national chairman of Southwest of the party, Chief Olabadi George, from the fold, accusing him of consistently working against the emergence of the PDP governor in Lagos State. Now, Bodhi George, in an interview with the emergence of Abdulaziz Adediran as governorship candidate in Lagos, he said he was influenced by the national body of the party. Well, joining us to discuss this and break things down is a member of the Presidential Campaign Council of the People's Democratic Party, John Schweibu. Thank you so much, Mr. Schweibu, for joining us. Thank you once again, Mary Good evening. Great. I want to start with uh, an interview that was recently granted um, by Chief Olabadi George on a radio station here in Lagos. Um, and um, he did allude to the fact that the emergence of Jandor in the PDP in Lagos was the beginning of the problems in the party. I'd like for us to take a clip, which is courtesy of Nigeria Info, um, uh, and that interview. Just take a listen to what Chief Olabadi George will start on that. The managers in Abuja, uh, not now, got involved and they thought they could know your house more than you. They messed up the whole executive uh, members of the managing members of our party, party. in Lagos. And once you do that, you open the doors for a lot of mess. We warn them, we advise them, you know, that's all you could do. Mm. Now, we are now in the throes of trying to readjust. Mm -hmm. And I, I believe we can still do that. But, mm -hmm. um, you know, it was free willing for people to vote. And, you know, because of the mess created by the national. And it's on Dole in Lagos. That's mm -hmm. the mismanagement of those who are these characters at the national. APC2 has the same problem. You know, remember, <laughs> you know, it, it's, it's the leadership that must get involved. Mm -hmm. When you say, oh, I'm not part of it, of course. Before you say Jack Robinson, they would have ruined everything you have done. No. So that's a clip of um, Chief Olabade George explaining how the antecedents of the problem of Lagos PDP started. Now, I also remember, because I listened to that interview, he, when he was asked um, um, if Jandor was allowed to participate in Atiku's campaign, he said, well, nobody was stopping him. But he did allude to the fact that he was brought by the party's leadership from the national to the state without the consent of those who were already on the ground. I'd really like for you to comment on that. Well, uh, thank you once again, Maria. I, it's surprising that uh, uh, Chief Olabode Judge said so. Why did I say so? You remember uh, when John Don was coming in January or so, we had governors that came in to Lagos to welcome him into the party. So if the leadership of the party will have welcomed John Don into the party in a grand style, with mammoth crowd that gathered that day, what else are we going to talk about? Why will you say nobody knows? Could the national, could she in the wiki have been in Lagos without, a, without uh, the state structure being aware or he himself? You see, I, I, I just see this as crying over spilled milk because, number one, his candidate uh, didn't get a ticket. I'm also, if you look at it, I, I, I still do. Just it's, to be clear, I'm, very so, so, I'm so sorry to interject, but just to be clear, who exactly yeah. was his candidate? Vivo. JVR. 
Well, he's, a, a, candidate. he's a governorship candidate for Labour Party. Why are we talking about that now? Oh, you see, you, that, that, is a, that, is a, that, is a, that is a challenge we have here. This is one time that Lagos will have a fresh breath. This is one time that PDP have a chance to take over Lagos. And that is why it's so surprising that uh, Chibola Badeja is going through this round. It's, very, it's, 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 no, it's no longer a secret. JBR was on Arise TV where he said, where he was asked a question, very prominent question. He said, well, uh, Chibola Badeja is aware of this, living for Labour Party. And that tells you a lot about what is going on. They were surprised at the, at, at, you know, the reception Jandon has, the, his legwork. He came into the party. Most of the words and uh, secretariat in the local government, Jandon revived them. He brought in a verb into the party in Lagos before the primaries in such a way that it has never happened like that in PDP in Lagos. So for, a, for him to come into a party, for me, I see that as a plus. John Don is a grassroots man and for Chief to, to go this right instead of him to rally around him as a young man who sought his support all the while to come around whatever it is, whatever act you have to grind with him or with the party and say, look, for once, before, at my age, I should be able to get Lagos for PDP. Because he's been there since 1999. Till day, 20-something years, uh, 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 APC or whatever party, have been defeating us in that place. Tinubu has been defeating him. And so what has it brought to the table for us? And this is the time that Lagos will get it right. And Chief is trying to, you know, rock the table, rock the boat, as it were. I call him a table shaker as a team. So for me, for him to go that route and say, look, the national brought him, they are not aware of him. They went to a contest, for heaven's sake. And we have people, Ashton, that stepped down for Jan Don. It, uh, Gomez stepped down for him. He, he, he won the, the, the primaries and he went around and to reconcile and, and all of them decided it. to give support to him. And that tells you a lot of the character of John Don, Dr. Didion. And to tell you that he's acceptable, he has been able to warm his way into the heart of people and they see what he's bringing into the party to say, look, we have a 35% that is bringing him from where he was coming from into the party. And with that, imagine if a Chibola Bode judge could just bury the hatchet, forget what is going on, and say, look, John Don is somebody that I have seen that is creating the waves. Let me put my support, whatever we have, let us win, and we sell ourselves. At this point, he needs to mentor them. He needs to mentor the, the uh, John Don, but not train, uh, you know, not going this route and saying, look, we don't know him. I, I find it so funny. Um, also, he was posed a question about um, who he will vote for, for presidency. Um, and he said he wasn't sure yet. Uh, does that raise a concern? Yep. Be being that he's a chieftain of your party and, you know, statesmen such as this, like you said, could obviously rock the boat. But um, when you also make an allegation like what you have made saying that, oh, it, um, you know, Badebo Viva Votes Rose was his candidate and because he didn't get the ticket, that's why he's doing this. Why would a party chieftain of that caliber want to destroy his party, especially for a PDP who's been struggling for years to want to take over power in Lagos? Be because he always want to have his way. That's a plain truth. He always wants to have it since 1999. He decides what goes on in PDP in Lagos. So probably at this time, maybe in the wisdom of leadership, they thought, okay, what do we do? Can we try another route? And, and can so, we can and, we just and, put and, our and so, can so, we just put our, can we put our act together? You know, and everything was plainly you know played at the primaries. So leadership did not come to Lagos to impose Jandon on anyone. Jandon did his homework. He did it perfectly. He got the reception. He got the votes. And he won. I expected a Chivola, but a, a man of his caliber, an elder, to say, look, what do we do? I need to support this young man. Let's put our hearts together. 
Let me rally. Let me be, be the rallying point, but not to be the one that will be throwing tantrum. I'm, I beg my, I, I, I due respect. You should be throwing tantrums about what is happening. That look leadership. Like he said, he doesn't know who to vote for. I, I, you know, I, you know, at if at his age, Governor Wiki will have to determine who he votes for. Then it's sad. It's very sad. At this age, I expect him. I expect him why, that he why, should why have Governor Wiki, to. Why is you guys, why, why, why is, don't you why, put why is Governor Wiki in? I mean, why is Governor? He's Wiki a leader. In this He's a leader of their integrity in quotes. Which where I don't I don't I, I don't know where the integrity is coming from because if you look at the trajectory of what is happening concerning everyone involved in this, you'll find out that we cannot even say that there's anything called integrity in whatever group they are calling themselves. But let's so put you're that saying aside. that you are, so, so yeah. you're telling me that what the G five governors are fighting for, what the Southern Caucus is fighting for has no integrity. You're telling me that the fact that the South has gotten the short end of the stick from your party is something that should be waived. Then why is the deputy or the running mate of your uh, presidential candidate trying to see how he can resolve or reconcile the G5 if they're not a, important from what you've said? In a family, you have issues, right? And according to them, they also said that, the, you know, the, the door is wide open for reconciliation. Yeah. It's a, it's, a, it's, a, it's a family affair, and when you when there's altercation or there's disagreement, you 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 know everybody tends to like play uh, whatever game they need to play, or how to see that they get their own uh, idea sold so that everybody will carry it along. But for me, I, 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 you see, this is one chance that PDP had to win election, and for this, for the governors to say that. They need a chief IU, a senator IU, the chairman to leave before they can support the candidate. For me, it, it, it's secondary. It's secondary to the whole game that is on right now. So if we are to, if we are to say, if they come together, we win. Because they keep saying position, position, position. That number one has gone to north. Uh, we have uh, number, uh, the chairman who is the sixth in the, in the trajectory of leadership. For heaven's sake, it has happened before, in which we had a change of government, a change of leadership within the party, and it's going to happen. Wait till after they say they can't wait. Now, I, I, I have this position. I think I've said it here before. Why are we fighting for a position that we have not even won? Are we not to win first, then to fight it out? And I believe Elijah Tiro Kubabaka. A Democrat, our party, as the way it's structured, organic party, would never allow the uh, uh, Senator Ayu, who is the present sitting chairman, to stay beyond the time for him to leave. Because who will go for him? You know, based on our constitution, everything there is is written. Because uh, Governor Wiki, Autumn, and the Kuromadu uh, report had certain things inserted, in which made seconders to leave. Now, if, we, if they are saying you should resign, or you should resign for them to have a discussion, that means the deputy national chairman will have to take place. We have to take the place of the chairman of acting chairman. So what are we talking about? Is it a personal vendetta with you? Are you? I don't think so. I think... But you, but you the made mention of the fact right. that this is an election that PDP has to win. Now, if you must win... Of course, you're going to make sure that your house is in order. You're going to make sure that you do whatever it means it takes to, you know, at least pacify um, all those who seem to be angry or calm frayed nerves. But as it looks, as it seems, in fact, from what you said, it's more like, oh, let's wave these guys. They're just a bunch of noisemakers. Let's let's move on to winning because that's our priority, as opposed to really trying to see if there can be a common ground of sorts. No. We are not waving them aside. Like I said, a family, right? They have a window. Of open, they have a window open for reconciliation. We also are making the effort. That is why we saw on news yesterday, Governor Wiki uh, Okoa and the other uh, southern our uh, PDP governors met yesterday. That look, we need to meet, preparing the ground for reconciliation. Yes, we, we we want it, but we have to move on. We have to move on because you see, we are in a situation which the same if. 
Governor Wiki will have a hindsight or think of history. Remember, because of him, Secondus was removed. Chief Secondus was removed. The party pandered to him. He was removed. I also expect that at this point in time, he should be able to sacrifice and say, look, the party last time I insisted, I pulled all my weight and we removed the sitting chairman. We had a convention when we were not supposed to hold it. And now there is also his own time to sacrifice for the party and say, let's move on and get this ticket and get the presidency, get Aso Villa. And then he's straight me, he's going his route. For me, I, I, I see uh, I, it's a challenge for me to actually, uh, you, know, you know, think it out that at a point in which five of them ought to just join in and play a role, they are going this route. Let me, ask, let me say this. If at this point, with all the damages by virtue of the speeches he has made and they have they, they've said at different fora, you imagine how do you trust such a person if they don't, you know, kind of temper down what they are doing so that the reconciliation can be total? Because if they want with reconciliation, they should, or uh, uh, Governor Wiki, who is the chief, uh, the chief of the fight, you know, the leader, should also be able to, you know, manage his speeches and not destroy the party the more by what he says, mm. you know, or his action. And I expect uh, Chief Body Joy to also, as an elder, call him and say, look, we can come here as a young man. This is our time. I want to see PDP get back to seat before my time. You, I, you I, see? I, and I, also, I, so for me, it is it's, it's a win-win situation if it, 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 the, the G5 can actually sacrifice because if you look at it, it's not a candidate is not saying anything. Mm. Why? Trying to make sure that they record their people will you know make you know inroads into Governor Wiki's camp and you know kind of prepare the ground for him to reach out. That is why he, he has not made any negative comment concerning them. And that for me is a credit for a Democrat and as a leader. That's what a leader should do. That's presidential for me. As we speak right now, um, the G5 governors are in Uma here, as I said earlier on. Uh, they are campaigning. Uh, they've been moving from state to state, especially for the states that um, the G5 go governors are representing. Uh, we've seen them at almost all the governorship campaign flag offs. As we speak right now, I think we have a video of um, Governor Wike and the G5 governors in Abia State. Um, Governor Autumn was asked if these men will defect from the party being that it seems like uh, there's no uh, end in sight as to what's happening, the imbroglio between the G5 governors and of course the leadership of the party. And he said that they were not going to resign. So again, what do you think that these men will be casting their votes for come 2023, if nothing's done? Well, you know what? I believe something will be done. They will vote for PDP. As far as I'm concerned, I feel they are calling for attention. Attention so that they be the beautiful bride. Right? That is all. It, you know, 24 hours is too much in politics. Everything will work out. But I will also say that it will be to their detriment if we don't work together. Because, for instance, Governor Wicked doesn't have any stake aside from the governorship candidate. If he says, look, we're not going to work. Yeah, now, not Tom is going for Senate. Epe Azu is going for Senate. Ogwani is going for Senate. We also know that Kemakide is going for, for, to, for a second term. So how they go, why is it going to play out? I don't know how they're going to play. Do the you also think that these men would, would risk losing their party? Because, again, going back to Governor Wiki, when he was speaking um, recently in River State, he did say that the PDP in their state would work to win every single seat. Now, when he got to the presidency, he didn't really say anything about that. And for these men who are going for all these other offices, I mean, they're sitting governors in their states. I'm wondering, how, how is it possible that they would lose any of those seats, being that they're the governors in the states? It's just a question. No, the point, the point is this. You say PDP is, 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 is a grassroots party, and we have structure. They can't afford to work against a party. That is why they are still open. 
I thank God for the electoral law that was amended recently. If not, they would have left. But he can't leave as a chief. So, if they love the party, and, if, and I think they love the party, in quotes, they would do what is necessary to also make amends with all their way. Because, for me, and out of this five, Governor Wiki does not have anything at stake personally. But he has a governorship candidate who he has put in there or who won the election in the primaries. Can he afford to let that man lose? No, he can't. So for me, they will vote for PDP, I can assure you. The five of them will vote for PDP. And if they decide not to vote, well, it's personal. Voting is personal. But I believe they will vote for PDP. And I believe there will be a reconciliation very soon. Very, very soon. PDP will always, will, you know, will always get their, their act together. The umbrella is so big. And we'll get, we'll get ourselves back in under the umbrella again. So we can get APC out of the way. But, but let me say this. Let me say this. Um, you know, this is the time to recover Nigeria. And if truly these men want Nigeria to be recovered, I remember Governor Wiki said something that APC is serious. PDP only has headache. So we are still in a headache situation right now. We'll get back, get away the cancer out of the system, ensure that Nigeria is recovered, we'll rescue it, and who to do that? Uh, his Vice President, former Vice President, Atiku Abubaka. He has a pedigree, he has the experience, he has the capacity, he has the will. Because this is a man that wants to leave a legacy for the young. He wants to leave a legacy for his children. Okay. Because for me, what does he have to gain aside from you know, being productive and leave Nigeria far better than it is now? They did it before with the team. Okay. Well, I want to say thank you. John Chaibu is a member of the PDP Presidential Campaign Council. Always a pleasure to have you join us uh, on the conversation. Thank you. Thank, thank you very you, much. Thank you, It's a pleasure. All right. Thank you very much. And that's the show tonight. It's been a very interesting one hour. Thank you for being part of the conversation. Now, if you missed any bit of it, go to our YouTube page, Plus TV Africa Lifestyle and Plus TV Africa, respectively. Or better still, you can go to www.plustvafrica.com. I am Mary Anacom. Have a good evening.